we might have just seen Paul Pogba's career come to an end because he's been banned from football for four years for testing positive for testosterone. Now, I don't know how that's possible because I thought as men, you just naturally have that in your body, unless I'm crazy. Now, I'm not a scientist or nothing, so maybe I'm thinking about this all wrong. But don't we all have testosterone in our bodies? So I don't know how you can be banned for testing positive for that. Now, he's been suspended since September, and he decided to not take a plea deal because he wanted to go to court, and he's been found guilty, so he got banned for four years. Now, with him not taking that plea agreement, he probably would have only been out for maybe two years, but he feels like he was innocent. So he didn't even want to take a ban that he felt wasn't necessary. So he decided to go to court, and obviously, whenever you go to court with anything and you lose, you're always going to get more time than if you would have just took the plea agreement because now the court had to you know, waste all these resources to go to trial, and then you were still found guilty, so now they're going to punish you more harshly. So that's what's happened here. Now, I assume that Pogba's team is going to obviously want to appeal this because he's already put out a statement saying that this is a mistake and that he is not guilty. So I don't think that they're just going to let this rot. They're definitely going to try to get this either lowered substantially or just appeal it and get it overturned in general. Now, when I look at Paul Pogba's career, it's just sad if this is the way that it ends because you cannot be out the game for four years and then come back and you're going to just pick up where you left off. He's already 29 years old. So by the time that he's able to come back, if, a, if an appeal does not go through, he'll be like 33 or 34. That's crazy. And when I look at Pogba's career, he's somebody that's won so much, won a World Cup, won Europa League, FA Cups, won a bunch of trophies with Juventus. But I feel like he could have done so much more. Pogba is one of the most skilled midfielders that I've seen since I started watching this game. I think he was one of the best, in my opinion, for a little bit. He was a monster. This guy could do anything with the ball at his feet. And because he was more physical in terms of his stature, right? I think he's about 6'3", so he's tall. He's a little built, a little lanky, but he is solidly built. I think that he was not used properly in terms of for most of his career. And to me, the biggest mistake that he made was going back to Manchester United. That was more of a sentimental move because that was his boyhood club. He came through their academy before going to Juve. They brought him back, made him the highest transfer in the world at the time, right? It's like 90 million. And I just think that was the wrong move. Manchester United at the time were in a downward spiral. Ever since Alex Ferguson left, that club's been shit. And I think this is a guy that could have went to Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, PSG, he could have been at a top club that's acting serious, but he decided to go back to Man United. Maybe it was just because the money, but I'm thinking it was more of a sentiment thing. And they didn't use him properly, playing him as a DM, dropping him deep, not utilizing his skill set. Pogba is a guy that has flair. He can carry the ball. He can dribble. He can link play. He can shoot from outside the box. He can create chances, but they used him all wrong. And now people call him a flop when I don't think that Pablo was a flop because I think for most of his time at Man United, he was one of their best players. But you got the fan base over there. They're split on him. A lot of people don't rate him. They're saying that Bruno is a better signing than Paul Pogba. Imagine that, Bruno Fernandez. So then I thought, okay, maybe during his Man United career, you know what, force a move out because I do believe that the top clubs around Europe would have wanted to get him. But he decided to stay, ran down his contract, left. The fans don't rate him anymore, right? You see him getting abuse when he was at Old Trafford and all these things. And I'm like, you know what? Go to either Real Madrid on a free or go to PSG, right? PSG had Neymar and Mbappe, Messi at the time, and everybody thought that they could make a run in the Champions League. And I thought if they would have added Paul Pogba to that midfield behind them, I believe they could have possibly won it. Come on now, people. But as a Real Madrid fan, I wanted him to join us. I mean, when you have a player of Pogba's level that can join you on a free, you have to take that, right? Because he's shown you the abilities that he has. But he decided to make the sentimental move and go back to Juventus, which I also believe was a mistake because Juve are not the same club like they used to be. But I think after getting so much abuse at Manchester United with the English media, getting on him for, you know, dyeing his hair, for dancing and all these things, he wanted to go back someplace where he felt loved. And that was Juve. But why? This is a guy that had all the talent in the world, one of the best central midfielders that I've seen. And I just think that he made the wrong career decisions with the clubs that he's joined. He could have done so much more. He could have had way more success than what he's already had because Pogba is a very successful player, but he's never won a Champions League, but he did win a World Cup. 
He did win a bunch of other trophies, but he could have done more. He could have went to a proper club that would have utilized his skill set. And we'd be sitting here talking about Paul Pogba being one of the best midfielders that our generation has ever seen, even though I think that he's up there. But yeah, man, it's sad. If this is how Pogba's career comes to an end, we won't forget you, bro. Trust me. But, you know, hopefully they can appeal it. And if he really is innocent or if he can really prove that this was all a mistake, then I think that we'll see him back out there. But for now, it's not looking too good, people. Get in the comment section, though. Let me know what you think about Paul Pogba and how his career went. Do you rate him or do you not? But just let me know. Don't forget to, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.